Welcome to this tutorial where we will have a quick look at the basic structure and function of one of our intracellular organelles called peroxisome. So if it's a organelle we know automatically that it's going to be in eukaryotic cells. So we've got a eukaryotic cell here with its nucleus and we're going to have these small uh, vesicle type structures called peroxisomes and they look uh, a lot like lysosomes. So they're basically going to be small membranous sacs with their own lipid bilayer and we'll zoom into what a uh, individual peroxisome is going to look like in a moment. So from this kind of view they just look a little bit like vesicles or our lysosomes but they're going to be smaller than the lysosomes and they have their own lipid bilayer. So we'll just zoom in here and we're going to see straight away that compared to some of our other more complex organelles, the structure of the peroxisome is fairly simple. So we've got that lipid bilayer that we can see there and we'll write that down. And we're going to classify the peroxisome as the detoxification center of the cell. So if it's the detoxification center, we can kind of have a think straight away about what types of cells or what part of the body is going to be detoxifying things. So we're going to find a lot of peroxisomes within the liver and the kidneys, but almost all of your cells have peroxisomes. And the way in which we achieve that detoxification is through the use of enzymes. So I've written enzymes down there and the specific enzymes we're going to find a lot of in these peroxisomes are oxidases and catalases. So we have our oxidase and catalase here within the peroxisome and something our catalase is going to be doing is detoxifying things like alcohol and formaldehyde through the use of hydrogen peroxide. But we need to get that hydrogen peroxide from somewhere so let's have a bit of a talk about that. Now if we pretend we have this toxic substance here within the cell it's going to enter into our peroxisome where it's going to be broken down. So we have our enzymes working on this toxic substance. Now we can talk about where the hydrogen peroxide is going to come from, which is going to lead us to the most important job of our peroxisome, which is free radical neutralization. And a free radical is just a uh, atom or ion with an unpaired electron. So if we have unpaired electrons we have free radicals or reactive oxygen species and we're going to pretend for a moment that we have these free radicals uh, throughout the cell and we're going to take those into our peroxisome. And once we're actually inside the peroxisome we're going to see a unique process happening. So we have these unpaired electrons and they're going to go inside our peroxisome here. Then what's going to happen is our oxidase is going to work on that free radical. So we have entry to the peroxisome and the way in which the oxidase is going to work is it's going to convert the free radical to hydrogen peroxide. So your oxidase is creating hydrogen peroxide. But Hydrogen peroxide is still a dangerous substance, so we don't want a buildup of it. So we've got conversion here to hydrogen peroxide, and I'll just write down that it's still dangerous. Now comes the job of our catalase, and our catalase is going to be able to use that hydrogen peroxide to convert these uh, dangerous substances such as uh, alcohol and formaldehyde into water. So we're getting rid of the alcohol, we're getting rid of the formaldehyde, and we're getting rid of the hydrogen peroxide and creating water. So by this point we've successfully neutralized our free radicals and we've used the hydrogen peroxide that resulted from that to further break down other toxic substances and we'll use that point to reiterate the fact that we're going to find 
many of these peroxisomes within liver and kidney cells, and they're thought to be synthesized by the endoplasmic reticulum. So let's just review quickly everything we know about the peroxisomes now. We know that they're small membranous sacs within the cell and they're smaller than our lysosomes. They have their own lipid bilayer and they're the detoxification centers. So we're going to find enzymes in there such as oxidases and catalases that will be uh, breaking down toxic substances and neutralizing free radicals. But we also have the peroxisomes involved in another job which we'll only talk about very quickly and that is lipid catabolism. So we're going to be oxidizing long chain fatty acids through beta oxidation and that's going to be happening within our peroxisome as well. Now we'll do a more exhaustive list of what's happening within the peroxisome when we start to study biochemistry but for now that's kind of all we really need to know. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.